In today's hardcore Minecraft video, I'm going to be transforming this cave here, with each building having its own function. I'm also going to make it really, really pretty. We're on episode four now, so I'm getting pretty comfortable around scary stuff. That's right, my name's Joel and I'm terrible at hardcore Minecraft, so welcome to my hardcore Minecraft series. We've played this world so far for 50 hours and 300 Minecraft days, and we are not stopping anytime soon. Well, unless I die, of course. Which won't happen, of course, because look at these dodging skills. Easy peasy. Now, I know every YouTuber says this, but I did spend an awfully long time on this video, so if you could please subscribe, that would be amazing. Also, leave a like. Anyway, last time I got these flappy things on my back here. And to make the most use out of these flappy things, you need rockets. And to make these rockets, you need lots of sugar cane. Check. And also, lots of gunpowder. Record scratch. Not check. Yes, I was too lazy to actually look up a record scratch sound. So unfortunately, that means I need to build a creeper farm. But before you click off the video, because that's really boring, don't worry. I challenge myself to show you building my creeper farm in less than five seconds. Starting now. I fixed up my pickaxe, dug a massive hole, then chopped a load of trees, tamed some cats, then built the farm. <gasps> and now... I have a creeper farm. I told you it'd only take five seconds, and yes, we've got some spare jelly cats here, because I like them, they're really cute. But the farm is working, as you can see from this bit of replay mod footage here. Part of the bit I didn't show in the five seconds was me lighting up all the caves in the nearby area. There's some mistakes, but... We'll, we'll get them all eventually. And of course, this design was made by Chapman on YouTube. I'll make sure to link that in the description and put it on the screen now. Go check it out. It is a great farm. You don't need much and it works really well. But to AFK the farm, I have to go up here. And as you can see, I've started on something already. But we're going to finish it off now. And that thing is a hot air balloon. I love hot air balloons. I want to build one. Let's build one. Not a very big balloon. I use some green and white wool and then decorate it with some trap doors. And now I can stand here AFK and hopefully we'll get some gunpowder. We're on day 316 at the moment. Let's try four days, see what happens. I actually did five days instead. But look at all this gunpowder. Around a thousand in 50 minutes. Not bad. We're gonna leave this looking ugly for now and instead work on some other stuff in this cave here. Now each of these buildings will have something to farm in them, but it's not going to be automated because I'm lazy and also it's episode 4 for goodness sake. I'm not building everything automated. It'd take ages. But the first building is going behind us here and it's not actually a farm at all. It's more of a transport system. I'll show you what it's transporting in a second, but first here's some materials. This time with music. <laughs> Not sure what that really was, but let's get building. And let's get building a diagonal building. And I've said building a lot in the last few moments, so here's one more time. Building. But I know what you're thinking. What on earth is this thing transporting, Joel? Well, it's me. I'm transported. I just wanted to add a building on the corner here to get up to this point a bit easier. The stairs on the other side mean I have to go over the stairs, across the bridge. It's a bit of a pain. Whereas this, I can just go whoop, and I'm in the center of it all. Our first building down, baby. What's next? That's right. It's bees. And if you didn't understand what I said because of my Northern English accent, I meant these little guys here. So let's collect ourselves some beehives full of bees. So welcome to a segment I like to call Stupid Man Collect Bees. First, he located the bees and he observed them for a while, following them, but not getting too close. He soon realized bees are even stupider than him and all you have to do is wait for them to get in their hive and you can take it. Nonetheless, he had to be patient and wait for the bees to enter the hive. He tried his best to blend in with the bees in hopes that this would speed up the process. It didn't and he ended up looking really stupid. And yes, I've been talking in the third person, but this is all me. Um, I am very stupid. But look, I managed to get loads of bees in the end by them being stupid as well. And thanks to my bee taming ways, we now have a load of bee nests. I'm not sure how many bees are in here, but we'll find out shortly. And I actually want to use some of the blocks that bees give to make this build. So let's get the basics down first. And yes, it's probably going to look pretty ugly. Before we started collecting materials, though, I made a silk touch pickaxe and I also added in the path down here. I then went to farm materials like I always love to do. We've got ourselves some pumpkins, some acacia fence, some spruce wood, all the different types of materials that you'd need, including some really weird ones such as red sand, the red sandstone. Plus, I went and got some extra honey to make things like some wax blocks of copper and also some honey blocks themselves. As like I said, we're going to be building with these blocks 
especially on the roof. I then hollowed out an area, placed the floor down as grass, and then built the rest of the building really quickly. Welcome to bee heaven, baby, except it's not really bee heaven for the bees as they're trapped in this room forever. For me, it's bee heaven. We've started breeding them up. As you can see, we've got some little baby bees hanging around. Got two more beehives to make and two more honeycomb blocks to place up there. But look, it's looking good. I really like the orange roofs recently. I've used a bit of the red sandstone pumpkin and the shroom light sort of blends in really well to keep it nice and lit up so no mobs spawn. By the way, we will be transforming this roof a bit as it is looking rather ugly. But I'm just gonna wait for these bees to give me some honey just for me. So that's one building done. Looking good. Time for the next one. But first, we haven't checked in with Muddy yet today. How are you doing, Muddy? <laughs> He's so funny. Now, quite a few of the materials for this build are found in the nether, so that's quite spooky. Find some spooky music, Joel, and put it on behind me gathering these resources now. I dare you. Make sure everyone's really frightened. Firstly, though, I need some deep slate, which is really fun to mine. Especially when there's blooming silverfish. Wow, how spooky is this music? I haven't actually chosen the music yet, so I don't know what it sounds like, but I'm hoping it's spooky. Anyway, we've got loads of different materials from the Never, and I also killed this gas here because I'm a really cool person. I also got some soul sand and a few other things, mainly to make some cool Minecraft blocks. But why are we building? This is why we're building this farm. I need more Never Wart. I want to hide it away in a nice building. Rather than just placing it out here like this. Joel, shut up and build some more stuff. Okay, okay. I really like the blocks I use for this build. I normally don't go for darker buildings like this, but I think this one really works, especially with the Neverwatt theme. Oh, look at that. It's starting to come together. We have our Neverwatt farm here, which has not much Neverwatt in. I thought I may as well wait for this one to finish growing so I can harvest it like that and fill this up a bit quicker so now we have to wait for that to grow i guess we should move on to next building yes we build a lot on this series okay we're actually going to leave a little gap here for this cute little cave entrance which will take me into this cave here so if i want to go looking for all the copper and coal that's left in here i can and this next building is actually an automated farm oh my gosh joel you're crazy but it's for bamboo yeah, you're not crazy. But it's something we're going to need a lot of at some point, most likely. So I went and collected a load of jungle-themed materials. Ooh, I'm guessing this build's going to be jungle-themed, Joel. Correct. I also got some redstone, as of course it is automated. And before building the actual building itself, I finished off most of the path here as well. I also found some diamonds in the ground, which is lucky, and made some pistons. And then we got building our automated farm, baby. You can kind of see it being built in the background, but we also built the exterior as well, which is very green and bamboo and jungle-themed. It's done. The Scariest tree in the game. Bam. Boo. <laughs> uh, I actually had to Google that joke. That's that's sad. So it is operational. You can't actually see anything because it's hidden away. But there is a farm behind here which has observers and pistons. Uh, you just have to use your imagination. Just kidding. Here's some replay mod footage of it. But you can see that the bamboo will eventually get pushed down by the pistons, collected by that minecart, and end up in these chests here. I hope. As we've been progressing, I've been casually farming up a load of the stuff in here, and we are getting a decent amount of everything. So we should probably stop making farms and buildings now. Haha, <laughs> no. The next one, though, is kind of a weird one. And it actually turns out I, I pretty much have every material I need for this already, so um, I'm just going to get building. Look at it. It's a silly, small little building that didn't take long to build whatsoever. I think it was, like, less than, like, 10 minutes almost. Tiny building. Now, like I said, this is an amethyst mine. What does that mean, Joel? How can you mine amethyst? You just got to find it in those clusters. Well, I've done that thing again where I've made my life a little bit easier by locating some amethyst clusters underneath our base here. I believe if I just dig this way, yes, I will reach this. Lovely. So if I ever need amethyst shards, I can come down here, mine these things, which I think are called amethyst clusters, which I'll make sure that they have the ability to grow as many crystals as possible by clearing out all the sides here. I just broke one. I'm, I'm so annoyed. I then proceeded to break another two as well. Already when I've been clearing out all of these and making way, you can see crystals have started to grow, which is amazing. But I think that's every block that can grow a cluster in here. We're just going to leave it looking ugly because it's hidden away and I don't think I'll spend much time down here apart from when I'm going to come collect the crystals. 
All we need to do is place in a load of kelp here to make all these blocks water sources. And there we go. It's all set up. Lovely. Don't you agree, mate? He's probably wondering why he's here. To be honest, I'm wondering why he's here. I, I forgot. I I think I did this in like episode one. Anyway, we're going to combine the next two buildings. One is going to be a building that will just take us to our creeper farm down there. And the second one is for cocoa beans. Now, I've built a lot of buildings today, meaning I've gathered a lot of materials. And you can only do so much to make material gathering interesting. So to make it a bit interesting for myself, I'm going to just get a random song off Epidemic Sound, which I use to get my music. And whatever it is, I'm going to make the material gathering montage to that. Maybe it'll sound fun. Maybe it'll sound stupid. Let's find out. Yeah, it turned out pretty weird. Anyway, let's get building these buildings. Starting off with the creeper farm, which I'm not going to do bright green to symbolize it as a creeper farm. Instead, I'm just going to make a green roof because I thought that'd be cool. I then built the cocoa bean farm, which is very obviously a cocoa bean farm because you can see cocoa beans everywhere. So there we have it. That is all the buildings in the cave. We're not done with building yet, though. We've got to decorate the cave and also finish this thing. But we have our creeper farm here, which is basically just a big hole, which leads us down to this, which we've decorated. And we can get our gunpowder out of here, which is lovely. And we also have our cocoa bean farm. We put some cocoa beans outside for decoration, but inside as well. You can see we've got cocoa beans come in, harvest them, replant them. And that means we can make brown dye, which everyone loves. But more importantly, some cookies. I also forgot to mention in the time lapse that we've been utilizing the other stuff we've been farming, such as the honeycomb to do the waxed copper up there. And now we're going to utilize the bamboo in here, which, by the way, is working magnificently, to make some scaffolding as we're going to decorate this cave. It's going to be a long process and probably our longest time lapse yet, so... Let's just not mess around. Sh shall we get to it? Let's make this thing pretty. Also, while the music is still ramping up, my uh, chess system is getting a bit out of control at the moment. I probably have to fix that next episode. Oh my gosh, you're going to cut me off. Well, that was rude. But anyway, we used all that scaffolding we made to add in all the top of the ceiling here, which is really awkward to do, which is why this thing took so long to build. I think it's about two hours in total, nearly. But that was including collecting the materials. The actual thing itself probably took about an hour. But you can see we're adding some pillars down, matching the one we did really early. On. We're adding some more staircases down into this thing and linking up the paths as well. And then also making staircases link into new places for the future. Oh boy, that was a long time lapse, but it is done. The cave is looking beautiful. The leaves, the roots, all of it makes it just look so much nicer. I love it. This was all empty at the start. We now have farms, bees, jelly cats on the floor. It's come together rather nicely. And there's one thing I want to add in here. I've made a little pool here. I was going to bone meal it, I forgot. And that one thing is some more pets, of course. Axolotl, to be precise. So I flew off looking for a lush cave and found one. And it was full of mobs, but also axolotl. So I got myself a brown axolotl. And I also got myself a pink axolotl. And then I nearly died to a creeper because there was creepers absolutely everywhere. And flew off and luckily didn't die. And we're going to call the axolotls David... And Patrick. Guess which TV show they're from. Anyway, let's plop them in here. There we go. David and Patrick, enjoy your life here. It's going to be forever. But one day we will breed more axolotls with you. Just not today. Today we have one thing left we want to do. And that is cover up the absolute hideous creeper farm here. And I was going to build a super smelter. But instead I thought... These cats here, they've worked hard. Maybe I should build somewhere for them to live. So it's literally going to be a house for cats. These three cats will be the mayor of this underground 
cave thing. And a mayor needs a mayor house slash town hall thing. So that's what we're going to build. Welcome to my creative world where I design everything. I thought I'd take you behind the scenes today and show you me designing this next building. So firstly, I covered the entire floor with spruce. And now I thought... What colours could be fun? I went for mangrove wood, some granite, some birch, and this dark oak trim. I'm unsure what kind of roof I want to do at the moment, but I know I want it to be pointed in the middle. So let's add a trim round the top. Maybe add in some sort of pattern here. That's kind of cool. Maybe add this curve on. This looks pretty cool. I'm liking where this is going. That's all you're getting. I'm going to complete the rest now. Let's see how it turns out. So let's bring it to life in the real world where we're on day 370. Although the time lapse is probably going to start not then because I need to go get all the stuff to build it. But while we're looking at statistics, I've nearly played three days in this world. In four episodes. What is wrong with me? A lot of things are wrong with me. The main one being I'm addicted to Minecraft. But here you can see the detail we added to this build. We used some acacia. We used some spruce as well to mix up with that birch. We added on this deep slate roof and a couple of extra windows. And of course, I can't forget the interior. So we finished that off as well. Come on, gang. Let's go. The three jelly cats will sit on their cushions and look after us. Marvelous. I haven't got name tags. So unfortunately, I can't name them yet. But we'll do that another time but look what we've made today underneath those farms we have a magical cave i think this thing has turned out wonderful we've got all those buildings all having their own use and we have some life in here as well with the axolotls and the jelly cats to cover up our ugly creeper farm there's a bit more we want to do with this area but we'll save that for another time we are now approaching 68 hours in this world and we still got so much more we want to do for episode five next time it's going to be a big one so make sure to stick around as we're going to be building our biggest thing yet even bigger than the library over there make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed thanks for watching good bye